We are ushered into the animation at the office of Lex Luthor, the owner of LexCorp, a tech company. Lex, holding a piece of kryptonite, is frustrated about his company's investments going to waste because of Superman. Complaining to Mercy, his assistant, he mentions that all of his plans of achieving world domination have been thwarted by the superhero and hopes for his downfall. So, in his quest to outdo Superman's efforts and obtain love from the people of Metropolis, Lex launches a satellite into space to protect the city from meteors and other alien bodies. Unfortunately, the satellite is maneuvered by a villain named Brainiac who arrives from space to Metropolis and attacks Lex Labs. Meanwhile, at Daily Planet, a news company, the news of Brainiac's attack is announced and the journalists all head out to gather news. Among these are Lois Lane, Jimmy Olsen, and importantly Clark Kent, who is secretly Superman and who suits up to go fight the villain. Back at Lex Labs, Brainiac is siphoning all the data present in the system when he is interrupted by Superman, so he creates a distraction by releasing a missile into the city. Superman, having no other choice, goes after the explosive to prevent it from detonating in the city. He successfully prevents the explosion and by the time he gets back to Lex Labs, Brainiac had successfully uploaded the entire data belonging to the lab to his memory. A fight breaks out between the superhero and the villain, and Brainiac has the upper hand in the duel. With the Lex Labs data under his control, he uses the armories on land and in space to fight off Superman. Lex Luthor, Lois, and Jimmy arrive at the scene and watch as the fight rolls out between the two. Superman does his best to escape the powerful laser beams but still gets hit by them. This happens repeatedly for some time. After a while, Brainiac moves in for the finish, but Superman freezes him with an ice breath, after which he blasts him to pieces with a powerful punch. With Brainiac out of the way, Superman quickly flies off to rescue Lois, who is almost being crushed by a power line. He brings her out of danger, and together, they head over to Lex to query him about the incapacity of his satellite in stopping Brainiac. After a few questions and pictures taken, they head off, leaving Lex and his assistant behind. However, Superman is unaware that Brainiac isn't destroyed, and a piece of his processing unit is in Lex's possession. Now back at the Daily Planet, Clark Kent is praised for his ability to get a full cover on the story and is asked to work as a foreign correspondent for the Daily Planet. He decides to rummage on it as they all proceed to work on publishing the new story. While all of this is happening, Lex Luthor is in his lab, devising a new scheme with the remains of Brainiac. He powers on this piece and proceeds to negotiate a deal with him. Lex offers to stitch Brainiac back to full form, coupled with more power and knowledge than before, in return for the death of Superman. He also asks that Brainiac leave Earth for him to dominate and make him look like a hero in order to get the praises of the people he always wanted. They both strike a deal and the plan to end Superman kicks off. Clark flies to Smallville to spend some time with his parents and there, he discusses his secret admiration for Lois with them. And after some moments of contemplating, he decides to tell her the truth of his identity, no matter how dangerous it may be. Lex, on the other hand, experiences progress with his plan as he launches Brainiac to space to incubate and fully equip himself. Before his launch, Brainiac is handed a piece of kryptonite to intensify his laser beams and also Superman's DNA to easily track the superhero. At their office at the Daily Planet, Clark and Lois are instructed to carry out a review of a luxury restaurant in Metropolis. Clark is optimistic that he is finally revealing himself to Lois, but unknown to him, Brainiac has completed his incubation in space. He heads into Metropolis, and with the aid of the DNA in his possession, he begins searching for Superman. Clark, while still gathering the courage to tell Lois about his true self, hears Brainiac call on him from behind. He gets shot through the restaurant's window, but he dodges it and runs out to change, leaving Lois looking for him. Superman goes out to meet Brainiac, and they clash into a fight. This time, Brainiac's armor is upgraded, and he has the upper hand, throwing Superman across several buildings. With kryptonite present in Brainiac's laser beams, Superman gets weakened whenever he puts up any form of resistance. Special forces also arrive in the city to fight off Brainiac, but they do not stand a chance against him. Unfortunately, Lois gets caught in the fight and is hit hard by Brainiac's laser beams and is thrown unconscious. Seeing that she is hurt, Superman angrily throws off Brainiac, giving himself enough time to escape with Lois. He takes her to a hospital and after a brief checkup, the doctor reveals that her case is critical. Clark later steals Lois' blood sample from the hospital laboratory and announces his absence from work for a while. 
He heads to his fortress of solitude to seek answers about the cure for Lois' condition. He learns that her blood is mixed with bits of kryptonite and that there is no earthly cure for her ailment. However, there is no earthly cure, but there exists a rare substance in a place called the Phantom Zone that could cure her. Meanwhile, Brainiac has tracked Superman's energy signature to the fortress and gains entrance to find him. Inside, he tries to steal millions of Kryptonian data from the Mother Lobe, so Superman puts it on self-destruct to preserve the data and prevent it from being abused by Brainiac. The Fortress of Solitude gets destroyed and Superman escapes to the Phantom Zone amid the explosion. Brainiac, not being able to pick his energy signature anymore, confirms him dead and leaves the area. At Metropolis, the news of Superman's disappearance spreads like wildfire and Lex Luthor gradually entertains the thought that his biggest rival is dead. Excited, he fixes a press conference to address the people and take advantage of Superman's absence. Meanwhile, at the Phantom Zone, Superman encounters several obstacles on his way to finding the substance which is Argonium-44. He, however, fights them off and finally arrives at the Fountain of Argonium, which he places himself into after which he takes some for Lois. Before he could leave the Phantom Zone, Superman is trapped in a trance where he is tempted with his greatest desire. Here, he is caught between saving Metropolis and living a loving life with Lois. Fortunately, he realizes that he is caught in a trance and that the Phantoms are trying to trap him in the zone. Superman snaps out of it, fights off the creatures that come after him, and leaves the zone for Metropolis. Meanwhile, at the hospital, Lois is minutes away from completely slipping away. Moreover, Brainiac resumes his attacks on the city and Lex stands up to the occasion to fight him, having their initial plan in mind. However, Brainiac double-crosses Lex and doesn't keep to his end of the bargain. He reveals that he had no intention of leaving Earth's dominance to any other person but himself. Superman finally arrives at Metropolis amidst the chaos, with Lois Cure in his possession. However, he decides to fight off Brainiac and restore order before heading to the hospital. Brainiac is surprised by Superman's appearance, as he thought that he was dead. As expected, a fight begins between the both of them, with Superman having the Argonium-44 as a resistance against the modified kryptonite. While this fight goes on, Jimmy Olsen, the Daily Planet's photographer, tries to gather evidence of Lex Luthor's illegal activities held at LexCorp. He is stopped by Lex's assistant, who beats him up and tries to take his camera from him. Outside, buildings and properties are destroyed as Brainiac and Superman continue in their fierce duel as both of them try to overpower the other. During the fight, a conveyor transporting a group of people disconnects from its track and begins falling to the ground. But Superman, as the people's hero that he is, rescues them from falling and brings them safely to the ground. Seeing that Superman is occupied with saving the people, Brainiac goes to an industrial laboratory at the center of the city and tries to override the machines. He aims to cause a massive explosion that would wipe out some parts of the city, but he is stopped by Superman who arrives just on time. The two resume their fight and this time, Brainiac focuses all of his laser power on Superman, who had no choice but endure. Taking advantage of a little opening, Superman lunges Brainiac into a full current of electricity, causing the kryptonite in his to explode. He flees the scene to examine the damage done to him. At LexCorp, Mercy is still trying to overpower Jimmy into handing his camera to her. He does his best to fight back but damages his camera in the process. Brainiac at this point begins directing his attacks to the people of Metropolis while Superman arrives to fight him off. With a super spin, Superman renders a finishing blow to Brainiac, resulting in an explosion that rocked the city. Brainiac's parts go flying about, with some hitting Lex Luthor, who tries to escape. Everywhere becomes seemingly peaceful, and the press begins taking pictures of Superman as he leaves to find Lois. Suddenly, the functional part of Brainiac gets back up and goes after him. At the hospital, as Superman tries to pour the Argonium-44 on Lois, Brainiac arrives and takes the substance, breaking it on the floor. Angrily, Superman pushes him outside the window and crushes him, destroying him. Returning to where Lois lies, Superman is informed that she has no more time. Feeling heartbroken, he sheds tears and gives her a warm embrace. As he does this, the energy of the Argonium substance on him spreads to Lois and completely heals her. She regains consciousness and thanks him. However, he decides not to reveal his true identity. Superman heads to where his Fortress of Solitude used to be and finds the remaining piece of crystal which he would use to rebuild the fortress. Lex Luthor, on the other hand, is interrogated on his sick bed about his deal with Brainiac, 
and he prepares for a series of lawsuits. After almost losing Lois, Clark sees himself as a threat to her life and decides to render his resignation at Daily Planet. However, he changes his mind and decides to stay and look after her as well as the good people of Metropolis. That was how the movie ended. Thank you for watching guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.